Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorials and today we're going to be looking at the arithmetic 16 target question 20 which is multiplying both whole numbers and decimal numbers by 10, 100 and 1000 and so first we move on to question 20a which is 36 multiplied by 10. Now if we take the 36 and we're going to move it or multiply it by a single 10 so that's one space bigger to take our three into the hundreds column the six follows it like we have up here and then we just place an extra zero in the space in the units for a final answer of 360. And next, moving, moving on to question 20b, which is 932, and we're going to multiply that by 100. So, we take the 932, and we're going to be multiplying this by 100, which is two lots of multiplying by 10. So, we're going to multiply by the first 10, what's one column? Then we're going to multiply it by another one, which is another 10. So all together, that's multiplying by 100. And we're going to take the 9 into the 10,000s column here. And again, that 932 must stay together. And we place two zeros into the gaps for a final answer of 93,200. And next, we're on to question 20C which is 10 lots of 4.3. Now, the first thing I'd suggest, but you don't have to, is to swap these around because it doesn't matter which order we multiply. So 4.3 times 10. So again, we're multiplying by just the single 10 here with the single zero. So we're going to take 4.3 and we're going to multiply it by the single 10 to move the 4 from the units here into the tens and then the 3 simply follows into the units for a final answer of 43 and finally we're on to question 20d now this time we've got a missing value so let's have a look we have a missing value we're going to multiply it by a thousand and that's going to give us a final answer of 196,000. So let's take the answer here of 196,000. And we know that we have multiplied by 1,000, which is three lots of times in by 10. So we must have started here with a much smaller smaller number in this box and we've multiplied it by uh, 1000 to make the 196,000 so what we're going to do is we're going to take it back by dividing by 1000 we call this the inverse operation so we're going to take the 6 and move it one space for divide by 10 another space to divide by 10 and finally one more space so we are dividing by 1,000 altogether. And that 6 is going to move into the units column. The 9 and the 1 follow, keeping them all together for a final answer of 196. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.